Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions part two. Uh, particularly we're going to be looking at dealing with quadratics, fun times. So let's have a look at the first question. So here's my first question. I've got 1 over x plus 4 plus 2 over x minus 2. Now if you've been following um, this particular series, uh, you know in this case you've actually got to multiply the denominators, well not multiply the denominators, you're looking for the most lowest common multiple between those two denominators. So in this case, I've got x plus 4 and x minus 2. Now naturally in this case, the most common, the lowest, lowest common multiple is going to be when you multiply these two numbers together. So this particular question is fairly straightforward because what I'm doing is I'm going to multiply the left hand side fraction with x minus 2 in the denominator and x minus 2 in the numerator. And for the right hand side fraction, I'm going to multiply by x plus 4 in the numerator and x plus 4 in the denominator. So when I do this, I actually end up getting 1, oh, let me just use a different colored pen, I end up getting 1 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 4 and x minus 2 plus 2 times x plus 4 divided by x plus 4 times x minus 2. So what I'm going to do is, just to make things a bit easier folks, I'm just going to write the denominators as one fraction, which is x plus 4 and x minus 2. Now I need to expand the, uh, the brackets in this particular line here. So when I've got x minus 2 times 1, it's just going to be x minus 2 plus 2 times x plus 4 is going to be 2x plus 8. Simplifying this, I've got 2x plus x, which is equal to 3x, and 8 minus 2 equals to 6. And then I can rewrite this with, well, rewrite the top fraction, the top two fractions as one fraction here, which is what this will be. Now, some of you might actually see this little thing where you can do cross multiplication where people say, oh, just do 1 times x minus 2, and then 2 times x plus 4, and then the denominators multiply each other. That works really well um, in situ some situations, but not all situations, where you can actually end up complicating the problems quite a bit. And um, I will show you an example later on in this particular video. Okay, so let's have a look at another question. Similar style. Uh, we've got 2x over x minus 4, minus 3x minus 2 over x plus 2. So with these two numbers, we know that x minus 4 and x plus 2, the lowest common multiple is going to be x minus 4 and x plus 2. So with the first bracket, sorry, first fraction, I'm going to multiply by x plus 2 in the denominator and x plus 2 in the numerator. And as for the second bracket, I'm going to multiply by x minus 4 in the numerator and x minus 4 in the denominator. Now folks, just for time's sake, let's just say, well, we can kind of see that the denominator is the same for these two. I'm just going to rewrite this as x minus 4 and x plus 2. Okay? But what's happening with the numerator? In the numerator, I've got 2x multiplied by x plus 2 minus 3x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 4. So it's almost like I've got uh, two quadratics that I need to actually expand in the numerator. So the first one I'm going to get is 2 times 2x times x is 2x squared. So this is what I'm doing, 2x times x. And then 2x times 2 is 4x. Now, this minus is quite crucial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this minus here as it is, but I'm going to open up a new bracket. And in this new bracket, I'm going to focus on expanding the quadratic that you guys see here. So I've got 3x times x, which is 3x squared. And then if I was to keep going, 3x times negative 4 is negative 12x. Then negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then I've got plus 8 at the end. Of course, don't forget, all of this is over x minus 4 times x plus 2. Okay, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to get everything out. Actually, no, I'm going to simplify that bracket first. So it's going to end up looking like this, 3x squared minus 14x plus 8, and then close the bracket again. 
all of this is over x minus 4 and x plus 2. Now I need to realize that this minus is going to affect all of the signs in this bracket here. So what I'm going to end up with is 2x squared plus 4x minus 3x squared plus 14x minus 8. And that whole thing is divided by x minus 4 times x plus 2. So when I simplify this, I end up with negative x squared uh, plus 18x minus 8. And that is divided by x minus 4 and x plus 2. And that's what my final answer is going to be. So once again, you could have done cross multiplication, but it doesn't matter. You're still going to have to do the full work in this case. So let's have a look at one more example. And this will be the last one. Is when you have a question that looks like this. Now, remember I talked to you guys about cross multiplying. In this case, you know, you can try and do cross multiplication, but you're going to end up with a really, really nasty, nasty equation. Okay. So what you need to do is first have a look at this. So we've got x squared minus 4. We've got x plus 2. And we've got x minus 2. Now, at this point, alarm bells should start ringing. There's got to be a pattern here. All right. Because think about it. x squared minus 4 can be written as x plus 2 times x minus 2. All right. So that means if I have x plus 2 in the denominator, all I need to do is I would need to multiply that fraction by x minus 2 to get to x squared minus 4. And as for the other one, if I multiply by x plus 2, I should end up with x squared minus 4. So let me just put that in a different colors, guys, so you guys can actually see that. So I need to multiply x plus 2 by x minus 2. And I need to multiply x minus 2 with x plus 2. Hope that makes sense what I'm just trying to show you guys. But let's have a look. I'm going to break it down. So 2x. 2x over x squared minus 4. I don't really have to do anything to it. I'm going to leave it as it is. Plus 3x times x plus 2. But this one I need to multiply by x minus 2 for the numerator and x minus 2 for the denominator. Because when I multiply those two things, I end up with x squared minus 4. And as for the final part, I've got minus 2 over x minus 2. This one, I've got to multiply by x plus 2 in the numerator and x plus 2 in the denominator. So as you can see, once again, that these two things here, they multiply to become x squared minus 4. So now that we have the whole thing has a denominator, common denominator of x squared minus 4. Because once again, remember, these two things is x squared minus 4. So let's actually have a look at each of the numerators. So we've got 2x plus 3x times x minus 2 minus 2 times x plus 2. So now it's a matter of expanding the brackets. So we've got 2x plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 2x minus 4 and the whole thing is divided by x squared minus 4. So simplifying this, we're going to get 3x squared minus 6x, because 2x minus 2x is 0, minus 4, and that's divided by x squared minus 4. So basically, guys, that's how you do addition and subtraction of algebraic fractions, dealing particularly with quadratics. All right? Okay, so that's basically it for this uh, session here. If you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.